folks, Q Wall here again. Uh, day two of another video. Day five of lockdown. Nice can of beer. Put the bike out again. Hopefully you can see everything there. Today we're going to do rear brake caliper ZZR 1100 Model D 94. So we're going to do the same again, how to take it off, take the pads out, give it a clean, put it all back together, put it back on. Hopefully, because on this bike this, it's double pins. And if you've seen one of my videos on the band, it was unsuccessful getting them out. So wish me luck, hopefully we'll be able to get this one off. So, first job is getting these off. Not like the front, these are Allen bolts on these. to get that off as well so time again chop and edit the video as we see fit see what size that is that, one. Yeah, that fits that I think what I'm going to do I'm going to undo this as well Right, this one first. Obviously, we've got the size for that. 13. 13 that side. 13 that side. Right, let's get that off first. Might be worth putting some WD on. Spray WD 40. Clockwise to get it undone. There we go. It ain't really doing anything, is it? Come back again. I might chop that bit of the video out. 13 mil spanner now. Put a washer on it. Lose that. That should just pop out. Like so. Move the arm out. Hopefully that should move. There we go. Let's get that wheel of wipe again. And what I'm going to do, put that in the way that it came out. Back in the arm. Out like we did in the last video on the front, we don't lose any parts. So that's that out of the way. Nice and loose now. Do a little tip, but this is full. So that now happen. So make sure you put that back on after. Next job, take that off. Might have been better when that was on, to be honest. Might end up putting that back on. anything off. Hopefully that will come off the same. There we go. Stop trying not to mince them. 
which you are going back in after. Got lucky that time. Bit of advice though when you are changing calipers, any nuts, pins or anything, do you know what? For the price of what they cost, it's buy new. Because you don't know how old these have been in the bike. But like I said before, in this case, I've only got what I've got here. So for the same for you, make sure you look after them. Could be better ways of doing things. But as I said before, I am no expert. This could just die in his garden in his shed. Out they come. Hopefully that will come. I shouldn't have any hassle getting that off. Let's give that a bit of a shake. See how bad they are inside. I feel like they're binding a bit. I'm going to have some fucking problems with this, I think. If it's too bad, I'll end up just putting it back on. Watch when you're pulling it off, just catch your bloody fingers. Let's have a look inside. As you can see, it's not a pretty sight. Plenty your life in the pads. Just needs a good clean, I think. The next problem I'm going to have is these pins. And the one out job I out with these is putting them back in. So, a little tip uh, before we do anything. Put these back in so we don't lose them. But still, boy, all we said. Don't know where things go. Take a photo. So that's what we're going to do. So now, which way them pins go back in? To get your phone. Get the caliper, take a nice photo. Same on the other side. No, we know that is. Just so, the, just so we know which way it all goes back in. Next job, we don't want to leave this hanging. get another something to see a bit better now. Yeah, so we've got something to support the caliper even though these are braided. And there is uh, a little rubber thing on the end of this that's slightly come off. There's no leaks. Not that I know of anyway. Yeah so the next job, like yesterday, uh, obviously we remove them, then come out. The first job, I'm going to try and remove the pins first. And then come straight out. Look. Same like so. You can get some pliers in there. Seem like they want to move today. It's always the back ones. Worst design in the night is an upside down caliper. It just all the crap just sits inside it. Let's see if we get some cleaner in there. WD in the ends, the one that buys WD inside your brakes. I'm going to just put that there just to try and free them off. Minimum as much as you can. That's a little bit too much. Just wipe it up. Don't 
too much on the caliper. I need to try and free that up. I want to avoid spraying it in there. for crap. The only way you'll get them out is by drilling two holes in the back of there and then tapping them out. And I don't really want to do that. So in this case, what I'm going to do, instead of taking the pads off, I'm just going to call this video how to take your rear caliper off and clean it. Not how to strip it or anything like that. Unsuccessful. It's not worth taking them out and cause myself more issues. But I will say in the last video, once them pads are done, all this will be getting serviced. So it'll all get stripped down and it'll get done by a proper mechanic. As I mentioned yesterday, L who's it L LBMS Autos. Check him out on Facebook. So I'm gonna put them back in for now. Them pins don't want to come out. Had the same issue on the bandit. They've gone back in nice. Let's make sure that. There we go, make sure they're in properly. second lump, make sure they line up with the pins. So in this case we're just going to get some hot water, scrub in there, scrub in there as much as we can. I mean I could pump them out, that might help. Let's have a look. See if I can get you in. If you can't get them out you can always uh, pump them out a bit more, not too far. Probably don't need to take them out to be honest in this case. That's about as far as it should go. Because the problem I'm going to have now is pushing them back. I've only got them two holes here now to push them back. I'll have to get somebody in there and wedge them back with the pads. But we can see where the shiny bit is on them, look. You can give them a good scrub up. Same as yesterday, some hot soapy water. Toothbrush, sponge and a rag. I'm just get in there and give it a little clean. Said, so, a little tip what I would have done in, in this instance. What I should have done was put something in between the pads because I am going to struggle to get them back. But I'll, I've got a few ideas on get them back. Uh, but for now, I'll just show you how to clean them up. Same as the other one. See so where the shiny bit is. And the idea is just to get rid of all that crap. Bring the shine back. So when they go back in, they're nice and clean, and the crap ache can they keep going in. I tell you, they are going to get serviced. But there's still what half a pad there, so I'll make sure the, I'll wait until the pads are worn down before I strip the well before uh, Luke does his magic. Pads are clean as well. Side of the other side. get in there because I've pushed them in so much I can't get to that one there so I'm going to get some brake cleaner in on that one that's come up a treat now that as you can see the difference but if you can't get in there just get the brake cleaner in that'll get rid of all the grime a bit more and it don't help to don't hurt to Clean up your disc. Same on the other side. And I would suggest wearing gloves. I must get a bit of uh, light cleaner on my hand. Others probably would say different. Get a rag in there. Clean some of the crap off. It's all the toothbrush again. See, ideally, you'd want to get the pads out so you can get rolling there. Same again, that side. Sponge. Well, 
honest with it, it probably won't hurt. Putting the caliper in, to be honest. Giving it a good wash. It's probably not the best idea. Let's get some of that shit out. Spray it out, brake cleaner, dry it out. Soon. Five pound. L B M S Autos. He sells it cheaper than Alfred's. He does a big tin. Right, so we've cleaned it up best we can. We probably should spend another half an hour cleaning it up if you wanted to. You can see that it's nice and shiny now. It's better than what it was before. Next job is pushing. Pushing them uh, pistons back now. So, I'm just going to get myself into a nice position. Ideally, you'd want a gap in there so you can wedge them back, use your hands, whatever. Right, I've got a few other methods. So, I'm just going to try and push them back and I'll come back to you. Hi folks, cue ball back. Uh, lesson learned: before pumping pump, pumping your pistons out, make sure you put something in the middle of them pads. So you don't push them out too far. So you can push them pistons back and get your fucking caliper back on your disc. That was hard work. Reason I didn't video how I pushed them back. There were methods that I shouldn't have used, but I've had to use to push them back. Uh, yeah, but in future, obviously. If you are doing this sort of job and you are successful at getting them pins out, it is a lot easier to push them back. But in this instance, I've just bumped them out with the pad still in, and I've given them a good clean, and I managed to push them back. So it's still a hey, you take your caliper off and clean up your uh, caliper video. So uh, while we're here, we'll just give it one final spray with a brake cleaner. Just make sure there's no other crap in there. A good clean. Just putting it back on the on the disc. And as you can see, I've pushed them back nice. Take these bolts out. These are the sort of jobs I hate doing. But because we're on lockdown, I thought, why not? I've got the time. The next time these will be coming off is when I'm completely have them stripped. If you want to put some Loctite on, whatever you want to do. Oh, that one's gone in. Let's get me Allen bolts. on the disc so you can line it up. He's a bastard to line these things up. If you're going to use an ammo, use a rubber one. So these are an alley casting. And these are not cheap. Always 
a bugger line in these things up. Alright, I think I've got it banged on now. through the back. Well, that should be lined up now. Anyway, just there to touch. Just the arm here, just slightly out. On, and then you nut. Then you go on. Get me the thirteen mil. Somewhere around. Spanner. That's what we need. Spanner. Back, thirteen on the front, socket, clockwise tightening off, which I think we all know. Now I would use a torque wrench if you've got one. In this instance, I haven't. I was just doing wrist tight. Leverage, leaky stand, make sure that is spinning. It's on the right hand actually. Just want to make sure it's on so I don't round it off. Too much that'll do. Don't forget that's where all the Spin of the wheel is so when that's going around, it's all on there. There's uh, plenty of thread on there. Let's just check it one more time. We always do it by hand. You just normally get a feel for it. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And then, obviously, an Allen bolt, uh, Allen key for those. Clockwise again. Managed to get it done. Hammer. And same again with these folks, don't overdo them. Just make sure that's even right. that point then when it's going to tighten up. Weaky stand, not too much that'll do. Same again. Weaky stand, 
it's more than enough and I'd suggest if you've got a torque wrench use a torque wrench and final job make sure you pump that piston out you should all nail that by now and then obviously same as yesterday with an nail varnish bit on the allen bolt Then you know in the morning, and if that's moved, you just need to nip them up. Same on the arm, or the nut of the arm, and a bit on the arm. Just keep an eye on it then. Right. That's it, folks. That's how you take off a rear caliper on a Suzu uh, on a Kawasaki ZZR1100D. Um, obviously in this instance I couldn't get the pads out because of the pins but I've still given them a good clean and hopefully that'll help someone. Catch you for the next one right safe.